Yamaha may have turned heads when they first introduced a jet drive center console, but soon both recreational and serious anglers alike realized the potential. Hi, I'm Jeff Hemmel from Boating Magazine, and today I am aboard the 255 FSH Sport H. Now this is the flagship of what's become a seven boat deep center console lineup. As you'll see, it's ready for bigger waters, bigger fish, but also bigger family fun. Now that I've set the hook, join me aboard. Center consoles work so well for fishing because they give anglers access to nearly the entire perimeter of the boat. That is all except the transom, which is usually covered by outboard motors. One of the advantages of Yamaha Jet Drive, in addition to the fact that it's a shallow draft and no prop, is that this boat can reclaim that aft real estate. The aft seating is great for the family, but stow these cushions and you've got one large casting deck with easy access onto the swim platform. To starboard, we've got a 30 gallon live well. There's also six rod holders conveniently located along the gunnel. That'll come in handy when running to your favorite fishing hole, but also when you're wanting to take your kids skiing, wakeboarding, and tubing. Don't overlook a few touches on the aft platform that show Yamaha's attention to detail, one of which are the clean out ports for the jet pumps. If you run into debris or weeds, as is common in skinny waters, you can access the top of the pumps and clean it out. I also appreciate raw and freshwater washdowns. It makes it easy to clean up at the end of the day. Now, one of the newest innovations for 2024 is Helm Master EX. Now, I really look forward to testing this. It's a joystick for jet drive, something we haven't seen before. It worked exactly as I expected. With this one joystick controller, it's just like a video game. I can go forward, back, I can crab the boat sideways to port or starboard into a dock. I can even spin the boat within its own length. It really gave me control of a jet boat that I've never experienced before. Now, while we're at the helm, there's a few other features I'd like to point out, one of which is the seven inch connects display. Through Connects, I can keep tabs on my engine instrumentation, trip meter, speed control, and control of the premium sound system. That Connects display is complemented by a Simrad GPS chart plotter. Through here, I can keep track of charting, sonar, waypoints, and the tide. You'll also want to keep your phone handy, both for staying in contact with friends and to provide the tunes to the premium sound system. New for 2024 is a wireless charger to keep the battery topped off without the hassle of a cord. Also worth noting is the two position leaning post with a cooler below. The 255's glass windshield and stainless steel steering wheel. The overhead hardtop provides shade while incorporating speakers and lighting. There are five more rod holders mounted on the rear rail, as well as eight more in the under gunnel storage to both port and starboard. Three apiece are on each side of the console, and I love this attention to detail. The hardtop is actually cut out so that you can carry longer rods. Other nice features include the ability to activate Yamaha's no wake mode, as well as cruise assist. I also appreciate having multiple USB charging points, a 12 volt charger, and forward a pop-up changing room. From inside, you also have access for troubleshooting all the onboard electronics. Moving forward, we've got a great spot in the bow that the family will enjoy. We've got parallel lounges to port and starboard, a nice large table so that they can enjoy some drinks and snacks. And when it comes time to fish, we can do double duty up here again. We can remove these cushions, we can lower that table to act as a filler, and we've got one large casting deck at the bow. You've also got a two-person bench seat in front of the console. To port, we've got another 18-gallon live well. Now, check this one out. It's really cool. It's got a clear side panel, so it almost acts like an aquarium. The kids are going to love checking out what's inside. To starboard, we've got a drawer for our tools, as well as an array of Plano tackle boxes. To the right is also a convenient pull-out trash can. To starboard, below this seat, there's even an insulated fish box. Finishing things off at the bow, we've got convenient two-step access for boarding. You'll also have an anchor locker with clips for a Danforth anchor. If you're looking for a center console that can both fish and play and has unique uncluttered access to the transom, you're going to want to check out Yamaha's 255 FSH Sport H. I'm Jeff Hemmel for Boating Magazine and I think it's time to go do some fishing myself.